punching up and punching down. Someone asked me to explain this term, uh, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, every person, every comic, has a perceived place in society. And that place is often seen as a strata. You know, I am a white, middle-aged white guy. So I am seen as having white privilege and being part of the patriarchy. Uh, and I uh, consciously and or unconsciously oppress all of those perceived to be below me. I'm not a sociologist. Um, I try to be a nice guy. I live in the moment, be very loving. Um, history will tell whether all this stuff, uh, how much of it is actually existing in any particular age. Uh, it certainly has. It's somewhat less now. How much so? Who knows? But people are still fighting the good fight. So punching up for me would be any organization or whatever that seems to have more power than me, which uh, being a middle-aged white guy, perception in society would be, well, maybe organized religion or the government, but everything below, <laughs> everything below that, uh, the army, maybe, um, uh, would be more powerful than me, and I'd be punching up, okay? Uh, any women or any minority group, uh, for me, would be punching down, for example. Uh, now, it can get tricky, depending on what, what group you're in. Uh, but you can figure it out. You're you're a smart person, uh, whatever your pronouns are or whatever. I'm not saying that sarcastically. You, you're a smart person. You're a comic. You want people to laugh. You know where you are, and you have a, a feeling, and you have ethics in you, um, and and you know uh, what groups you feel that uh, you can criticize or make fun of. Uh, usually, the groups you belong to. Um, and, and those that are below or above you in the, in the food chain, I guess you would call it, uh, of society. So that's what punching up and punching down is. Uh, now, while I'm on the subject of punching up and punching down, um, as a cisgendered middle-aged white guy, other white guys are in comedy, or the other white guys in comedy, maybe too many, um, talk, and they're frustrated by, here on this frustration about uh, gay-only mics, women-only mics, you know, things like that. And, um, well, I mean, they're telling you up front and, and, um, not being part of that subculture and not sharing that experience with them. And I'm just not judgy to begin with. I mean, I try not to judge people, right? I'm happier the less I judge people. Um, I say, well, yeah, go for it. You know, um, uh, yeah, I feel that you learn through adversity and that no audience is going to be in total agreement with you. Um, so the creation of safe spaces and comedy, the, the creation of safe spaces and learning comedy does seem fundamentally contradictory. If you, if you take any group and you say, I'm only going to allow the people that are part of my subculture into that mic, then I don't think you get hecklers, really, and I don't think you get uh, disagreement of any kind, and uh, I think you, you, you would probably learn less. Now, as far as like a tide pool type thing to learn in, and, and maybe get over stage fright or whatever, sure, but I, as a cisgendered white guy, wouldn't want to perform just in front of cisgendered 45-year-old white guys. I would learn less as a comic. Now, if I was terrified of doing comedy, um, would I feel more comfortable doing that? Yes, but then I would have to move on from that. So um, I think there's absolutely a, a place for it and that we shouldn't be frustrated at it. And certainly we shouldn't see it as a challenge to our constitutional rights somehow. Um, it's just, uh, you know, humans gather together in like groups to do what they like to do together. I mean, we, there's thousands of instances of that. Churches, clubs, organizations, and, and mics are just another form of that. So if you're really sort of butthurt and feel constitutionally challenged by a, a women's only mic, you know, you've probably got other problems. Um, hope that helps. Uh, and as I come up with more terms or things that hit me, I will research them and present them here. Uh, again, this is part of the continuing series for 
newbie people, as I am a newbie person, and as I find out things, I'm sharing them. So comments or uh, subscriptions are uh, much appreciated, and uh, hope to talk to you soon.